Hi, everyone, and welcome to the PYA Crew Spotlight. Today, I am really pleased to welcome Tristan Mortlock, or the Super Yacht Captain. How are you? Very well, thank you, Rhea. At, uh, at home this week on our final week of leave, and very keen to get this um, season started on board Motor Yacht AWOL. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Yeah, I mean, it, it is, we are at the end of March now and we're looking uh, for April right around the corner. So of course that means that the Mediterranean season is starting to kick off. And are you looking for a busy season this year, do you think? We hope so. I mean, the charter bookings aren't what we usually get, you know, pre-COVID. Yeah. But we're getting lots of inquiries, which is very positive. And, you know, getting lots of work done on board the boats. We'll be launching the boat the end of April and then hoping it's come to the south of France beginning of May. And then fingers crossed, we'll start getting some bookings, get some guests on board. And I'm sure the owner will be using the boat if we don't get too many charter bookings. But the crew are certainly keeping their fingers crossed in order to get some uh, bookings in place and travel around the, uh, around the Med. Nice. Well, let's go back because the whole point of this piece is to tell people what is so wonderful about yachting. So for you, what was it that drew you to yachting? What, what was so fascinating about yachting that you thought, you know what, I'm going to be a captain one day? I think it's a variety of things. I think even today, what excites me the most about yachting, even in almost 20 years in the industry, is going to a place on board the yacht for the very first time. As there's, there's not many in the med left, but there's still places we haven't been to. That feeling never goes away. We're going to a new place. I get very excited through my research. I go online where the best spots to anchor. I speak to our agents. I speak to other crew, other captains. And that's the exciting part. Getting into the yachting industry was, I think like most of us, it was supposed to be a summer job. And the, it was getting into my first day, I was supposed to be cleaning boats and I was starting driving boats. And I was like, this is, this is amazing. You're getting paid to be out in the Mediterranean Sea in the middle of summer, driving boats around, you know, getting a suntan rather that than being stuck behind a desk in a cubicle eight hours of the day. And it's not, it's, you know what, it's not for everybody, but the people who are involved in yachting definitely have a certain um, open mindset, I would say, a lot because there's all different cultures within the industry. And it's just, for me, it's been fantastic. I've been doing it for 20 years since I was 16 years old, almost 20 years since I was 16 years old. And it's been a fantastic career. Met some amazing people, have an amazing boss and recently got married um, to about three weeks ago, four weeks ago. And, Congratulations, um, I didn't know thank that. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I met my wife um, through yachting. So it's, it's been my whole life since I was 16 years old. So what advice would you give to those that are looking to get into the industry as far as, you know, how to get in um, and, and how to rise through the ranks? Well, the truth is, I, because of the Subiot Captain platform, I get this question a lot. How do I secure my first job? And I always say, again, this is open. Uh, everyone's got different opinions. I always say you need to be in one of the yachting hubs, like yachting capitals, like the Palmers, the Antibes, the Monaco's, the Fort Lauderdale's, you need to be there physically in person. Now, in today's world, that's a lot more difficult because of COVID and travel restrictions. So a lot of people are doing things online. Um, so my advice is, you know, do your courses, speak to as many people as possible. Yes, join the crew agencies, but I think with crew agencies, it's, it's a lot more difficult if for green crew. Get yourself on all the Facebook pages. You've got Antibes Yacht Crew, Palmer Yacht Crew, Fort Lauderdale Yacht Crew. Uh, there's Greenies Yacht Crew, Monaco Yacht Crew. Get on all the pages. There are lots of boats posting jobs out there. And just, you know, apply to all the jobs. And the one bit of advice that I will give to everybody, even people that have been in the yachting industry for a long time, and it really frustrates me is when a vessel puts a job position up they'll put all the criteria okay please make sure that you meet all the criteria they're labeling the criteria for a reason it's part of the safe manning okay if you don't if you're sending your cv hoping for luck you're wasting the employer's time because they're going to be reading through the emails 
and then they can say, well, you haven't got your yacht master, you've got your power at level two, when we request a yacht master, they can say blacklist you because it's lack of care. And when you do send a CV, right, my advice is don't just say, please see attached. The amount of emails I get, 90% of them, it just says, please see attached. I refuse to open those emails. I won't even go through them. Because to me, it shows a lack of respect, certainly a lack of professionalism. But if they do an opening saying, you know, dear captain or dear Tristan, my name is such and such. I saw your job posting on, you know, Palmer Yacht Crew. Um, you know, these are my qualifications. These are my experiences. You know, would love to be a part of the team you will find attached my cv and references let me know if you have any more questions that'll be perfect just a few paragraphs but there's a lot of lazy people out there you can even have a template that you just copy and paste but just show some care that will be that will be my advice and um i think uh, what's the other thing that's um you know very important is you unfortunately it's not possible at the moment is dock walking Dock walking is very important. We've hired people in the past, dock walkers. And the thing with dock walking, it is timing. It's got to be the right place at the right time. Um, but at the moment with COVID, it's a lot more difficult for people to be dock walking and looking for day work. So that would be my advice to people, you know, looking to join our wonderful industry. Well, and before I let you go, what are the benefits at the end of the day? I mean, you know, if you get your head down, you continue to work, you work your way up through the ranks, you know, can you look forward to a great retirement and, and that kind of thing with yachting? Look, at the end of the day, it it's not for everybody. So people that are coming into the industry, they, they, you, all, you always have a, a perception of what something is. And when you actually go and do it, it's always, there's always slight differences or big differences, okay? So it's not for everybody. People might find after one, two seasons, it's not for them, okay? But there's a huge number of people that then pursue a career in the yachting industry. Now, if you can put your head down and you go and get your, your ticket, say, for example, you want to go down the captain route, you build up your sea time, you build up your watch time, you go to the, you know, the maritime schools like the Blue Waters or the uh, War Sashes in the UK, and you build up your career. And you can earn a very, very good, healthy living, right? And then eventually for the more experienced people, they might then get rotation. So you're getting paid 12 months a year, but you only work two months on, two months off. So you get to spend time, you know, with your family. The other great thing about it from a career point of view is the, the, the people that you meet. You know, we, I've, you know, I've been fortunate, not only the crew that I've met, but the charter guests we've had on board. I wish I could name some of the people that I've met in this industry, like people who I'm just like, think this is amazing, like big business tycoons. And, um, you know, I'm not so wild about the famous people, but just people who are doing big things, you know, on earth, I managed to meet them. And it's amazing meeting those people. Like this is a highlight, you know, of, of a career is, is meeting certain people or people that you look up to, or, you know, that are, are important to you and think are doing great things in the world. And yes, it can be hard because it, you are spending time away from family, but it's about the balance. And if you put your head down, you can make a very good living. And your office is a bridge looking out a window out in the sea, you could be cruising Croatia or Sardinia. And you're like, this is my office window. And that never gets boring. It never gets boring. <laughs> well, Tristan, you know what? That's amazing. And of course, you know, follow Super Yacht Captain because you'll see everything that Tristan is up to on YouTube. Um, and how often? It's once a week that you post out a new video, no? For, yeah, once a week, more or less. Sometimes a bit less, um, depending. Obviously, the, the priority is the job, but I try and do once once a week, normally every Wednesday. Nice. Well, you know, we yeah. wish you the best of luck and congratulations Thank on you. your marriage. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The poor, the, you know what, my poor wife, she waited, waited 10 years before we got, uh, we got uh, married. So finally, um, it's done now. So she's, uh, <laughs> but we're both, we're both very happy. We're both, it, it like a sooner, true man. But, finally, it's done now. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, for, for her, because she waited a long time. Yeah. Poor, the poor lady. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you ever so much again for your time. And thank you to the audience for watching. 
You've been watching another edition of the PYA Crew Spotlight. This has been Captain Tristan Mortlock, Mortlock of uh, AWOL. Um, and of course, follow him on Super Yacht Captain. My name is Ria. I have been your host. Please tune in again next week for another episode. <laughs> <laughs>